In HTML, you create a hyperlink with the A tag. Let's make a working copy of links.html, and I'll call the copy links-working.html, and open it in my text editor. Very simple, small HTML page. It's got a paragraph, and it's got a link. Go ahead and open this in the browser. You'll notice that the file that's opened here is on the desktop. The URL is a file URL, like that. So what that means is that this URL is not on a server. This file is not on a server. It's on my file system. So that's why we have a file URL. And there's a link here. And you'll notice the helper text at the bottom of the screen. So down here, we get this little helper text when I hover my mouse over it. It has an HTTP URL. So it says HTTP colon slash slash ldc.bw.org. And if we look here in the HTML file, you see here's a link to, we have a href equals, and there's that URL that was showing up at the bottom of the screen. See it down there at the bottom of the screen? That's exactly the same. So if I click on this, it loads up that page on my website, and that URL is ldc.bw.org. Now this is Firefox, and it obscures parts of the URL. If I put my cursor up here, and it still doesn't do it. In some browsers, you put your cursor up there, it'll show you the whole URL with the HTTP and everything. Here it's just showing you the part of it that goes after the HTTP. So that's not helping us much, but that's what it looks like. So the A link, A stands for anchor, and that's a historical reference, really. A tags aren't so much anchors anymore as they are just links. Used to have a dual purpose, and one of those purposes has been completely deprecated out of HTML. But it looks like this. It has the name of the tag, which is A, the href attribute, which specifies the URL where the link goes. And so it's as simple as that. And if we come back to the page here and we reload, we can click on that link and it takes us where we want to go. There is one attribute I'd like to show you here. It's the target attribute. You can specify the name of a named window that's been opened and created with JavaScript, or you can say underscore blank. And if I save this now, it'll open it in a blank page. And in Firefox, that usually means a tab. Let me reload here and go ahead and click on that. And so it's opened this page in a new tab and it's left that alone in the old tab. In some browsers, it'll actually open it in a new window. Now the A tag is actually an inline tag, but it's unique in that it will allow block level content. And so if I take out this whole paragraph here and instead, in between this A tag, I can put block level content. I can do something like section, and I can give it a little bit of style. And inside of that, I can have an H1 tag, and I can have paragraph tags. And all of this can be inside of an A element. And when I save this and reload it in the browser, all of that is now this link. And I can click anywhere in there, and it'll bring me to the target page. The A element by itself is very powerful, and it may look and work in many different ways, especially when combined with CSS. We'll see more examples of this in the rest of this chapter.